Hey guys, I'm Level 1 Online, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change your RetroPie Emulation Station theme from this to this. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll be back in just a moment. The theme we'll be working with today is the Neo Geo Classic theme by Arcanthor. I'll put a link to his GitHub in the description. If you scroll down the page, you're going to see a list of directions and also a list of all the systems supported. I counted about 67. To keep things simple, we're going to be focusing on only two systems today, the Neo Geo and the Capcom system. Now this image that I'm using is the 8GB image by Psycho. To get things started, we're going to go back to the GitHub page. The green button right here where it says clone or download, click on that and it's going to say download zip. On the bottom left, you'll be able to track the progress. Hit that little arrow right there where it says show in folder. Go ahead and click on that. So in our downloads folder, all we got to do is find a zip file, hit extract here, and now it is fully extracted. We can actually do a rename to this if we want. Let's just call it Neo Geo Classic. At this point, just right click, you can hit copy. We need to go down to our network, down here, RetroPie, go to configs, go to all, go to emulation station. If you don't have a folder called themes, you're going to need to create one. Here it is right here, double click on that and let's just paste. If you don't know how to set up your RetroPie over a network, I do have a tutorial uh, beginner guide. Make sure you find that on my channel. So now that that's installed over, we need to hit the start button. We go to our UI settings where it says theme set. Click there. Just go to Neo Geo Classic. On the game list view, we're going to set that to grid. Go ahead and enable that back out. Now as you see, it is not displaying properly. We need to do a particular update to this image. So for now, let's just switch back to our regular. Let's go to our config menu. We need to go to our RetroPie setup. From here, we're going to do an update. Are you sure you want to update the script? Hit yes. Once that finishes, we're going to go to manage packages. We're going to go down to experimental packages. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Right here where it says emulation station dash dev. Hit OK to that. We're going to do an install from source. All right, once that finishes, we can go ahead and back out. We can then go to perform reboot. Let's go ahead and switch our theme now. Let's set it to Neo Geo Classic. Let's set the gameless view to grid. And there's our theme right there. Let's hop into Neo Geo. So one thing you will notice, the artwork is not set up correctly. So we'll need to perform a rescrape of these ROMs. If you know how to do that, you are good to go. If you do not, here is part two of the video. I'm going to show you how to set up the scraper. So the website we're going to need to go to is called scraper.net with a K. Let's go ahead and hit download. Right here at the bottom, depending on what operating system you're using, we're going to go with Windows. Hit download for Windows. Once that is downloaded, you can just right click on it. And where it says extract to, we're actually going to extract it to a folder. Do, do not do an extract here or else you're just going to have a cluster of files. So we're going to extract to a folder. Here it is right here, scraper.ui. Let's click on scraperui.exe. So I recommend setting up an account. It's a free account. What I've noticed, my luck with it, I have better luck when I have an account. The other thing I can say, if you run into issues with this program, I recommend just deleting the folder, downloading a fresh copy, and just re-extracting it. So once we get our username and password in there, let's hit validate. Let's go ahead and hit next. Give it a few moments. It's going to get this whole program reinstalled. I'm not too sure exactly what they're downloading. Alright, so once that process is all done, let's go ahead and select RetroPie. Hit next. It's going to say select front end home folder. Just click right here. We're going to find our network. We're going to go to RetroPie configs. Hit OK. From there hit next. Now we're going to find our ROMs folder. Hit this folder icon. 
Go to Network, RetroPie, ROMs. Hit OK. Go ahead and hit Next. Right here, it's just going to show us what it's going to pick as the default media. You really can't make any selections here. Go ahead and hit Next. So let's handle the scanning of the Neo Geo first because that's the easiest. So let's go right here on the left hand side. Click on Neo Geo where it says games and front end. We just need to verify make sure it says RetroPie ROMs Neo Geo that we're going to be scraping the correct folder. For metadata, right here where it says move articles at the end of names. I kind of like this. What this is going to do is when you have a game like King of Fighters, instead of it saying the King of Fighters and placing the game in the T section, it's going to actually put the at the tail end. So let's check that. Down here, name decorations where it says clone type, we can actually uncheck that. Let's go right here to media. So all of these right here, let's just remove all of this. Actually, we need to hit use specific configuration for Neo Geo. So that will now enable us to customize this. So let's just clear everything out. You can either hit the minus button or you can hit the scissor icon right here and that's going to clean everything right there. Hit yes. Boom. That's clear. Now we're going to hit the plus. We're going to scroll here. We're going to go to image and then right here we're going to scroll and we're going to find 2D box art. There's our 2D box art. Everything here should be A-OK. -okay. Everything here on miscellaneous should be A-OK, -okay, and we don't need to worry about overlays. All right, at this point, at the bottom right, there is like a little uh, plus or uh, play symbol. Hit that, and let it do its thing. So as this is scraping on the right-hand side, it's going to show you a preview of what, what it's scraping. So far, it's looking good. You want to keep track of right here where it says... Uh, errors and the download uh, the scrape games and also the games not found so far every it's looking like it's uh, getting everything with a match all right once that finishes it's going to play the Final Fantasy fanfare uh, it does say errors right here it says fail to stop emulation station fail to reboot emulation station that's okay we're just gonna do that manually and to exit out of this just hit this check mark again and that takes us back to our uh, set up. All right, one thing I just want to recommend, because we we are now using just static images, what you want to do is go to your screensaver settings, and instead of random video, you can either set it to dim or you could set it to a slideshow so it can play images. I just prefer it dims on me. All right, let's go to quit. And let's do a restart emulation station. So as you can see, the art is lined up correctly now it's looking gorgeous so the next thing we need to handle is our Capcom system so on this list there is not a dedicated Capcom system we're just gonna add one manually so hit the plus button right here where it says Capcom classics let's just select that hit OK now where it says games and front end right here the ROM path we need to just change that to Capcom metadata let's do that move articles again and right here clone types let's just remove that let's go here to media let's enable this let's cut that yes let's go ahead set that to image we're gonna now set this to 2d and we should be ready to go let's go ahead and hit the play symbol all right so once that finishes let's hop back let's hit the start button Let's hit quit, restart emulation station. Let's go here into Capcom. So here's one thing that I notice: the box art is looking small. So we will need to actually manually go into our XML file and make a slight adjustment. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so once again, let's go back to our network. Let's go back to our RetroPie shared folders. We're going to go into configs, all, emulation station, themes neo geo classic right here capcom here is theme.xml let's open this with notepad plus plus so it'll be easier for you guys to see it's really simple right here where it says padding it says 220 we're just going to change that first two to the number one from there go ahead and hit save now go ahead and hit quit restart emulation station Boom, and that fixes it. 
So once again, just to recap, first thing you're going to need to do is download and install that theme. There's various methods on how to do it. I'm going to put a link, once again, to that GitHub, to his specific directions. There is a way to do it through the terminal. If you want to do it my method, that is totally fine. There's also various other scraping programs out there. Feel free to experiment. Feel free to figure out what you want, what looks best for you. You'll need to also remember to download the emulation station dev package. Make sure you compile it by source and then make sure you set it to grid. If you run in into any hiccups, best thing I always recommend is just restarting your image. Just do a full shutdown. Anyways, I'm level 1 online. I hope you really enjoyed this guide. This is a really cool looking theme. Uh, by the way, I don't really personally know the guy <laughs> who made this. Like, I'm not friends with him or anything. So, if he catches uh, any, any heat for associating with uh, level 1 online, the evil wizard, you know, hey, it's, it's not his fault. You know, <laughs> let him be. Anyways, you guys have a great night. Take care.